Hi there. Uh, I am making this video in order to document the process of uh, trying to fix both of these screens. Uh, they are both broken, but um, uh, I think that one of them has a broken screen, which is a broken panel, which is quite obvious. Uh, but the other one has a broken controller um, rather than the panel. So uh, my idea is that it will be possible to transplant, I guess, the uh, controller from one screen to another. Uh, they, they are both the exact same model of screen, which uh, makes me more hopeful. These two monitors are uh, Dell's. Uh, the model number is U2415B. Uh, so they're they're both the exact same model. I found both of these screens in the trash, so it makes sense that they're broken. Uh, this is the one with the broken uh, panel, and if I try and turn it on, you'll see that uh, you'll see you know pretty much immediately that uh, yeah, it's uh, full of stripes. Like uh, the moment you turn it on, even not connecting your computer, it, it's just cracked. You can see very clear like lines. But most likely, it's been dropped. Uh, on the panel, but the actual controller uh, that controls the signal from your computer, I guess, to the panel uh, isn't necessarily broken. You can still see the uh, node HDMI signal coming from your computer uh, window that's kind of moving around. Uh, and um, if I try to, I can actually change the source uh, of the screen. If I try to change it like blindly, you'll see, yeah, there you go. Um, now you can see it's a switch the source to my computer and you know the screen is completely broken but you can still see like on the top here it works i can see the uh, the camera app that i'm running right now um and uh, some ui and stuff like that uh this other screen on the other hand uh if i turn it on you'll see that the uh no signal window uh shows up immediately so and there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the uh, the panel, right? And the controller seems to be working, but if I put on my HDMI here, uh, you'll actually, uh, actually you'll see you get a perfectly fine signal. Uh, and I wasn't able to recreate my issues with the screen, uh, for this video, but, um, uh, sometimes when using HDMI, the, the signal gets all like, uh, gets like full of noise, like green pixels start popping up everywhere. Uh, and uh, especially using display ports, uh, a display port signal, right? The, the brightness starts changing randomly and, uh, and the panel kind of cuts out uh, randomly. Uh, and I, I know it's the, uh, the controller and not the panel of the screen because, you know, uh, at, po at sometimes the panel is just fine. So I got, I got both screens here. Both screens are completely identical. I'll have to remember <laughs> this one is the one with the broken panel and this is the one with broken controller. So the bro the controller uh, um, from this screen, I'm going to put it, replace it uh, inside this screen. And, you know, hopefully both uh, the panel and the controller will be working uh, perfectly. I assume that there are like plastic clips all the whole of the uh, monitor. So I guess I'm going to try and find a way to uh, pry those open. There's always the last clip that just won't get. 
out of my way. Yep, yeah, there you go. Here is like uh, the controller box. Uh, and you see that's where all the uh, all the connectors are, right? And the power connector and everything. Uh, and it got uh, all these cables going uh, out into the, for instance, the USB, uh, the USB connector here. And I guess the LED, the power LED on the... Uh, the control the control buttons here and uh yeah the next step is to uh kind of take off this uh, uh metal uh cover That's the controller. Now I put aside the uh, good controller and I am opening up the second screen with the broken controller. So the exact same process. Okay, so this is the broken controller on the second screen. So if I just take that one uh, and, you know, install the good one right here, I should be able to fix the screen. So I'll put this one aside. Okay, the controller is on. Uh, I'm gonna prop it up, I guess, and uh, connect power and my HDMI cable. Yeah, let's see if this uh, works. We'll see if there's anything wrong. Okay, that seems to work. Yeah, all right. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try the HDMI cable now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're getting, uh, okay, uh, I'm on my camera application, right, uh, on my laptop, so we're getting kind of a matrix effect here. But uh, basically, uh, the computer is connected to the screen and the controller is putting that on the panel. All right, so that's the process of going from uh, two half-broken screens to uh, one fully fully functioning screen. Uh, and I, I guess you'll have to take my word for it that the screen with the broken controller was actually broken because I wasn't able to show that, but I promise that the DisplayPort wasn't for working, among other things. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learn something from this and uh, see ya.